What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. Sorry about the audio quality on this video. I am facing some issue with the mic, so just bear with me here. In this video, I wanted to share some cool features of Samsung default keyboard, which was updated recently with One UI 2.1 for Samsung Galaxy Note 9. I have included one or two messaging app features as well here. If you are new on the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you find this video useful, do leave a like. Without any further ado, let's get started. All right, now let me just open the messaging app here. Let me select one of the messages and then let's go to the keyboard option here. Now, uh, as you can see here, you will have a three dots in the top right corner. So once you click this, you will see plenty of options now. So earlier we used to see just about four options. Uh, we had handwriting and uh, we also had clipboard and there were a couple of other options. Now we can see a whole lot of options here. You can see handwriting, search, translate, Samsung pass, clipboard, text editing, modes, keyboard size, bit emoji, my emoji and moji talk. Now uh, let me just go back and here you can see we have an option called search so this helps you in searching all the emojis and stickers and uh, anything else so you can just search let's say angry i have already typed here so if i search angry you will see all the emojis and stickers related to angry word and it's also showing some gifs here so everything is available here when you search so it's easier to search an image or sticker using this search option now uh, the next one is translate so this is something which a lot of you would be interested in because if you want to send a message in a different language you can easily translate it from english to uh, the other language so let's say now here it's showing english to hindi now if i say hey how are you doing i just type it here how are you doing done so it's showing me in hindi here and that's a cool thing which we can notice here so that's about translate now you've got samsung pass here so this will okay let me just unlock my okay in samsung pass what happens is you can uh, see all your saved cards addresses and sign in passwords etc so you can actually add a new password or a new sign in detail here you can add the title and notes here and save it so it will come in handy whenever you are logging into something or whenever you are using your uh, credit or debit card for any transaction so the next one is clipboard i have already included this clipboard feature in one of my previous videos you can have a look at that i'll just drop a link below uh, if you see clipboard option you can see all your uh, you know copied text in the past at least about 10 to 15 texts or images which you have already copied will be available in this section here so uh, let's say if you miss out on any of your copied text previously and if you have already missed out the text itself then you can easily go to the clipboard and see that text over here so i can just use that text here to message somebody right so that's that's a cool feature all right the next one is text editing feature so in case if you're typing a large text then you can directly go to text editing and this will help you to uh, take your cursor uh, up and down easily and you can move your uh, cursor so you can see I'm able to uh, move the cursor up and down and towards your left and right so this will come in handy only when you're uh, you know uh, typing a large text you can easily select it you can press select all to select the entire text here and you can move the cursor around here as well so the next one is keyboard modes so let me just show you the keyboard modes here so if you see this particular icon this is mode so we've got one-handed keyboard we've got floating keyboard and standard keyboard standard keyboard is something which we already are using right now in this video if you look at floating keyboard I can move this keyboard around anywhere I want right so you can easily move it around and uh, the next mode is one-handed keyboard so this is something which is really useful you know when you're using your phone in only one hand so you can move this keyboard to left or right easily you can see this arrow mark here and you can even uh, go back to the normal size normal size keyboard just by pressing that option there now the next one is keyboard size so this is really cool you know you can actually increase or decrease your keyboard size by just moving this border around so you can just bring this in or out to increase or reduce your size of the keyboard and you can also move this using this arrow mark here at the center right all right now let's go to the next one that's my emojis so this is something which we have already created on our uh, uh, ar app so we have all our emojis created here so you can directly uh, use this emoji to send it to somebody else and uh, the last option is 
Mojitok. So this is again, I can see some of the stickers over here. There are a huge collection of stickers. I have not gone deep into this, so you can probably you know go through this and have a look at yourself, right? Okay, we are back here on the keyboard. Now uh, we can also see there is some other feature here. Uh, this is more of a messaging app feature, I would say. If you press that arrow, we have, we have got three options here. Uh, we have got this gallery option. If you want to send any images to somebody easily, you can send that. Now the most interesting interesting thing is over here if you press this plus icon you will see a lot of option again here so you've got a quick response option if you press quick response you have all the quick responses around here schedule the messages this is interesting so if you want to trigger a message on a particular date and time you can schedule that as well i don't know how much it's going to be useful but uh, you can do that so you can select a date select a particular time and hit done you will be able to trigger a message on that particular time which is set then we have options to use subject line here which I don't prefer on a messaging app. Anyway, so we have that. And then we have got Samsung Notes here. So in case if you want to send any text to anybody from the Samsung Notes, I mean the text which is available on the Samsung Note, you can use this particular uh, icon here, select the note you want and just hit send. So that the, co and the content on that particular note will go to the receiver. And then we have location which you can directly send like most of the messaging apps. We have got location, image, video, audio and contacts and voice recorder. So if you have any data on voice recorder, any recordings, you can directly send it from this app itself. So it's very well integrated within this particular messaging app itself. So that is also available on this keyboard. I would not say it's available on keyboard. Probably that is the messaging app feature. So that's available and it's, it's very good. You know, it's very good to use and have all these options in handy. All right, I think I have covered most of them in this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you have already got One UI 2.1 update on your Samsung Note 9 or any other phones, do check these features and you let me know about your thoughts in the comment section below. You can compare this keyboard to Gboard or any other keyboards and uh, let me know your thoughts. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.